previously on my first video about my trip to Valencia, we explored many things such as the city of arts and sciences, the beach and the seashore, and part of the old new city center. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend checking it out. In the second video, we'll be visiting the central food market, the old town's graffiti artwork, the botanical garden, and we'll eat some traditional food. So if you want to find out more, stick with me till the end. I start my third day by waking up early and heading to Mercado Central. Definitely a must visit if you're in the area. Mercado Central is an amazing place for food lovers such as myself, where you can get lost in the abundance of colors, smells and taste. Everything is fresh and locally sourced and you are guaranteed to find something you never knew existed. Here are some fun facts about this place. It's more than 8,000 square meters and it's actually Europe's largest fresh produce market and is listed as one of the most beautiful markets in the world. You can also gather and buy your own ingredients and take them to one of the indoor restaurants and I'll cook them for you, for a small fee of course. Definitely a good way to taste the local ingredients. After roaming around for at least an hour, I decided it's time to move on. But not before tasting cheese, jamon, a bunch of different gems, and fresh watermelon and strawberry smoothies. My hands ended up being too full to film any of that. La Lonja, or the Silk Exchange, is an emblematic building of the city and is located in front of the central market. It was designed as a shrine to commerce and used in the 15th century as the place for trading. It has many beautiful details and in the middle an orange tree garden, which first caught my eye and led me inside. Valencia's atmospheric old town is packed with cafes, shops, street art and many many hidden monuments. It's very fun exploring through the maze of buildings and cobblestone alleys and escape the tourists. You'll find pretty squares, tiny churches and very very cool street art. Kaikaya is a tropical sushi restaurant that fuses Japanese food with Brazilian flavors. Designed by Masque Pasio, one of my favorite interior designers, it's a very unique and photographic place to relax and try out a few combination of flavors, which has been created in the hundred years since Japanese immigrants first started to arrive in Brazil. Definitely a cool spot to try out.
Bahia de Santa Catalina is the place where you typically find a locally made drink called horchata. It's a sweet creamy drink made from pressed tiger nuts. You can serve it together with chocolate pastries and it makes for a very cooling and refreshing stop. Valencia is without a doubt one of the best cities in the world to check out murals and graffiti. Whether you want a cool backdrop photo photo or you enjoy being surprised by the most unusual and creative places you can find them, keep an eye out all over the city. The botanical gardens of the University of Valencia originated from the orchard used for the teachings of botanical studies in the 16th century. Today the gardens produce an important collection of some 3,000 species of trees and plants from around the world, particularly the collection of palm trees, tropical shrubs, cactus and desert flora. I had a wonderful time hiding away from the sun in the jungle-like garden, discovering tons of plants and trees I didn't know about. If you have a few hours to spend during the midday, when the breeze is cooler on the other side of the fence, I recommend relaxing in here, listening to all kinds of birds and finding out the small corners of the world. I ended the day by revisiting the City of Arts and Sciences at night. Definitely a spectacular view, full of light installations and very moody architectural light. Watching, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below which was your favorite spot. Bye!